on this topic called reflection of light by plane mirror let's understand how the questions are framed in different dimensions the question goes like this which diagram correctly shows a ray of light reflected by a plane mirror so first of all you should know the law of reflection that states that the angle of incidence is equal to the angle of reflection so if you look at the option d so the dotted line is the normal which is perpendicular to the surface of the plane mirror shown there so one angle given is the 50 degree and the remaining angle is 40 degree so hence according to the law of reflection so the option d is the correct option here is another different dimension question on reflection of light by plane mirror the question goes like this which diagram shows the reflection of uh, a ray of light at the plane mirror so just look at the diagrams shown over there so in this the diagram c looks like the correct but it's not so the reason is the incident ray cannot pass through the surface of the mirror so the diagram d is correct if you draw a normal so you'll find that the angle of incidence is equal to the angle of reflection hello student here is another different dimension question on reflection of light by plane mirror the question goes like this light is incident on a mirror and is reflected as shown what is the angle of incidence and angle of reflection just look at the picture shown over there so you know that the total angle of a semicircle is 180 degree so if you just look at the picture so part of the semicircle angle given here as 80 degree so for the remaining angle what you need to do is so just uh, subtract 80 from 180 degree so we'll get 100 so you know the law of reflection so which says that uh, angle of incidence is equal to the angle of reflection so according to that okay angle i is equal to angle r so hence the option d is correct mm -hmm.